Hi guys, it's Tuesday afternoon, nearly 5.30 actually, you can see there's people going home after a hard day's work. I've been watching them uh, move furniture out of the CAB office here, the Citizens Advice Bureau. I think they moved into the precinct, I'm not sure. I might just waddle across and have a look at the sign on the door. Um, I was actually a bit busy yesterday, as you can see. It's looking a bit tired here and here, apart from that and this box down here. But, uh, I've got an Ethernet switch somewhere down there. There it is. And my stereo there, or the tube radio there on eBay at the minute. I've been looking for some parts I need to fit this style of brake to my racing bike. I need one of these to go around the um, handlebar stem. So your black outer casing will go in there, then your cable comes out the bottom. But I don't know which one's going to fit, so I've just got like four different styles here. What's that one? Oh, that's a Shimano. Oh, I didn't realise that. Shimano, product of Japan. Is Shimano Japanese then? Maybe. That's the only item I can find for the rear, but that's not the one I actually want. I don't know where the other one... It's basically like that, but without a roller. Um, but I don't know where it's gone. I've got a box of bike bits in the kitchen I can look at, or look into. I've looked through here, in various tubs and whatnot, and I can't find it. It's not gonna, I know it's not going to be in there, I don't think. And I don't think I've dropped it in any of these drawers. See, I've got plenty of nice cable bridges for the bike as well. Whee! That one, I've lost the handle to that one. And <laughs> now I can't get the drawer open. Just a second. See you up there, you can stare at me ugly mug for a minute. Bless me! Nope. And after all that, it's not there either. Oh dear, I don't know, something tickled my nose. Uh, I've cleared up all the crap that was down here in the hallway as well. Here we go. Yay! I can actually walk through here without standing on something in the middle of the night. And I've also had a change around in the bedroom. I've got my toolbox up this corner. Because the um, chest of drawers is now over there, and there's the uh, table top and base, which means my three PCs are down here. Your box bed is up on my bed for the time being, because I need to get there. That fluorescent light I got out of Lidl is going to go up here later. That tape deck I'm going to take out there, that's going to go on eBay. I feel cheeky as hell selling it though, because I only paid five pound for it, and I know for a fact, you know, if I stick it on eBay, it's going to get at least twenty quid, if I'm lucky. <laughs> I'm only going to—I'm not going to be too cheeky. I'm going to start the bidding at ten pound, but I don't need it surplus to requirements now. I bought it to play the tapes, but I've now got that. The tape deck on my old one up there don't work, or it didn't work at least. And I've got the Marant system, you know. Ooh, cheers, Nima. I've got the Marant stereo system there with two working tape decks. So, and I want to invest in some um, more expensive Lego. And the only way I can do that is to let go of a few things, I think. Because uh, there's no way I could do it on my income unless I uh, literally didn't spend anything.
That's the only way I could do it. My neighbour's now going wandering across the car park. Oh, he's dressed smartly as well. Tuesday. Cancelled meeting, probably. A bit early. I didn't think it started till about 7. 6, 7 o'clock, something like that. Um... Yeah, so what I want to do, oh the tube radio and my IBM 24 port ethernet switch is on eBay. Whether they sell or not is something else, but we'll find out. The CRT monitor is in the corner up the kitchen because I've had a, a bit of a clean up there. Um, so if I want to work on a computer I can just take it in the kitchen and connect it to that monitor. There's also a keyboard and mouse with it, so... That shouldn't be an issue. My nose is tickling again, so if I sneeze, I am sorry. <laughs> right, let it go there. And that can go there. Um, yeah, I'm do that. Uh, just need to have a bit of a shift around it in the bedroom. Uh, then I can get the Schwinn back in there because I'm not ready to work on that yet. Uh, I think I'll just leave the front forks in it for now. I'm not going to bother changing them. But uh, I'm going to change the wheels. I've got a nice set of tyres I can chuck on them. Uh, I'll put the reflectors. I'm sure those handlebars are bent. I'm going to change them anyway because I don't like them. And I have got a handlebar extension thingy I'm going to try and fit to it as well. I think it's designed so it just bolts straight over the top. I'm not sure. Will you stay off my stereo, dick? <laughs> uh, you can never stay mad at your pets, can you? It don't matter what they do, you just... I can't, anyway, I just can't stay mad. You know, two minutes later, I'm all like, oh well, never mind. <laughs> Took a um, battery charger apart. There's the back piece for it. There's this, 12 volt transformer. I presume that is some sort of thermal fuse, I'm not sure. A couple of diodes that went to the um, meter display. Which I'm going to experiment with later. I'm going to experiment with this. <laughs> I'm going to connect two wires to that and connect it to a speaker and see if I can make it move like a VU meter. Right. So. That can go in the box of eBay stuff, actually. eBay bike stuff, that is. These can go off now because I've got a save on what electrical juice I've got. That is one of the bitches about uh, having a like pay-as-you-go service if you're not careful. Um, you can end up running low like I am. And uh, <laughs> the problem is I don't get paid till Thursday so I can't top it up. But I've only got like one day to go. I've been through and I've turned off a lot of stuff I don't need on. I'll probably turn that lot off tomorrow. I will check it because I've got to go downstairs. I want to bring my friend's mountain bike upstairs. Um, so I can actually get that done. So I'm going to shut the camera off because it's a bit dark in here now anyway because I've got the light off. <laughs> oh yes. And this is the last week. If she doesn't collect this train set and those cars this week, I'm donating them to charity. Because <clears throat> I'm just at the point where I just want them out of the way now. I think, I think four weeks of being told next week, next week, next week is enough, to be honest. I think I've been, you know, patient enough. I am quite a patient guy, you know, I don't mind holding things for people. Uh, <laughs> but there is a limit. I don't think that's unfair, is it? 
<clears throat> anyway, I get my LCD monitor, that's got to go up there. So really, before I actually do anything, I've got to clear this, disconnect the tape deck, get the monitor up here, uh, and just clear that crap there, just so I've got enough room to get the bike in. Actually, what I could do, to be honest, is just move that monitor out of the way and move the other crap out of the way. Get the bike in here, then I'll just go down and get the mountain bike. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, so I'll talk to you in a little while. Nookie dookie, and at last. <sighs> Yahoo has actually been down all day. Not that I've actually missed anything, but... Delete that. Oh, I didn't want to delete that, I want to spam it. Oh well. Never mind. Right, and that lock can be deleted in the spam folder. Doink. And I've got plenty of electricity on my meter. I've checked it. I've got nearly two pounds worth. That'll last right through to the um, Thursday, actually. So, doesn't, doesn't that look a lot better? Well, I knew he would get in the box. Just from me sticking it up there. Light is up. That's better. I don't know what it's like. What's it like with the light off? That certainly provides enough light over here, anyway. That's good. Good. Tape deck is in the lounge, ready to be photographed. I'm going to do that later. Um, turn that off, not in that one. It's got a switch built into it, but I got that one already there and I didn't feel like taking that all out, so I just rigged it up and I could have used the white cable that came with it, but uh, I just chopped up one of my old black ones for that. So it sort of suits the rest of the wiring. <laughs> wiring black. I like fitting in switches white. Black and white. Easy as black and white. <laughs> right. I don't know why I come over this way. I don't want to come over this way. Um, I'll stand this stool back over here for now. It's little cubby hole was going to be over there, but I've got a uh, bicycle in it. Actually, I could stick it in there. Get the speakers in there first, and yeah, all right then, I'll do that. La -da 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 -da. There's the next patient. Um, I've had it here for quite a while now, so it's about time I got it done. Um, but we were looking for. A replacement crank but I can't find one small enough because I don't know how well you can see but it's actually on a bracket here that bolts through the bottom bracket so what I'm gonna do not tonight I'm gonna take this crank back off and try and find the other side to it I can't remember where I've put it <laughs> it's not in the shed Take that drainer off, but leave what's left of the bracket on there, and put an ordinary drainer, like this one, with that kind of uh, mount in its place. That way, we wouldn't have to worry so much about crank size, because at the moment, you can't raise this. It's in that fixed position, so... And I, if I just turn the lights on again, you might be able to see that uh, the top teeth are actually up against the derailleur so that ain't no good he was going to put a new chain on it but I don't really think it needs one personally it was just the teeth on the crank were rather on the worn side and 
I'm going to change his gear cables as well. Can you see that? That. I'm not going to let that go back like that. I'm going to change that. Um, yeah, there's no way I can let it go. Because if I let it go back to him with that gear cable like that, I can guarantee that's going to be back in a week with a broken gear cable. So, now I've spotted it, I might as well do it while it's here, you know. It's not a hard task to do because he's got these levers on it. My favourite style, to be honest. <laughs> or one of them. Those and trigger shifters. Any style of trigger shifter. <clears throat> I really don't like... I don't get along with grip shifts. Right. <laughs> um, I'm going to message my friend, actually. And just tell him it needs a new gear cable. Because I don't even think I've got one long enough. Um, so if he wants to go down during the week and get a new one, I'll fit the new one. I shouldn't have to tune anything in, to be honest. I might have to make a little adjustment on the adjuster on the drailer. Might. But uh, if I leave everything in the gearing it's in and just change the cable, it wouldn't require too much uh, changing. I'd have put him a front reflector on on the same bracket as that. Um... And keep swapping lights around and I've got plenty of the flipping thing so I'm tempted to uh, see if I've got any I could just whack on here because I'm nice like that <laughs> I'm in a nice mood there's some black tape right where is that I'm actually surprised he hasn't bought himself a cycle computer to be honest all the cycling he does that would be good to um, get one so you can see exactly what miles he's doing or kilometers whichever that takes his fancy probably miles if i know him you know <laughs> see how many clock up on a bike but yeah glad i noticed that that is uh that is um <laughs> rather thin and frayed <laughs> and that's just going to get stuck in there look fact it gets to there and the drailer is pulling it back. Right, so that's a, <laughs> it's only a minor problem. I'll set his brakes up as well because they need a bit of adjusting. Um, I was looking at the condition of this outer. If I can find a long enough black one I'll change that for him as well because that is looking a little bit, where did I see it? Yeah there's a crack in it there. That ain't a lot of good. If I've got a long, actually I'm pretty certain I will have a long enough one, I will be able to just pull it through there easily. Cable. Yeah, I can reuse the cable, that's not a problem. Oh yeah, another thing I noticed, his steering is a bit stiff. It could be where it's just been sitting out front in all weathers, so I'll just pop all this open and put some grease in there and grease it up. That was the, one of the things that broke the stem. It actually broke inside here, so it took me a while to find one to fit it, because that's actually quite a um, narrow diameter. But now I've actually got two or three stems like that, so mm. I don't know how it snapped. It just snapped it off. <laughs> yeah, but he li I know this. it's not the best looking bike, but he likes it. He really do likes like this one for some reason. It was one of mine. And he wanted to buy it off. I wasn't actually intending to sell it, I don't think. But uh, he bought it off me and he's put his own choice of tyres on it. Um, replaced the back wheel because it had a very tiny buckle in it, if I remember rightly. I like the style of tyre though. Turn my lights on again. It's what I had on the Schwinn. Actually, I've still got one on the Schwinn, but I don't know what um, 
my buddy did with it because it was on the back wheel that got ruined. Um, but I wouldn't mind getting hold of that tyre. Again, it doesn't matter, I've got another pair of tyres to put on it. Because it's going road style again. I'm not making that, I'm not going to build that one for off road use, so. Whew. Ooh. My elbow just popped. <laughs> right, put that tub back in the cupboard. Oh, yeah, I've still got that thing to find, haven't I? I you got a clue where to look. <laughs> I've looked in most obvious places. I'm pretty certain it's not downstairs. I don't know for a se for a fact. For a fact, I wouldn't have sold it. Hmm. Mm, I could leave that bit of out for now because it is actually working fine. Oh, it has got a bit of life left in it, I suppose. It's just, uh, <laughs> yeah. That gear cable. Well, you've seen how frayed that is. Like I said, if I let him take it with it in that condition, I guarantee it'll be back in a week. Because, <laughs> uh, that will snap. That's very close. If you he, blah, he could um pop up tomorrow if he wants. If he's not busy, I'm not busy, so well I will be, I'll be busy doing that one. I've got feathers stuck to the wheel on this. Two white ones. Up there's just been sitting, I was gonna want some air in the tires. Yep. My foot pump is up here somewhere, so that's not a prob. Yeah, so let's do that reflector, do that gear cable. And sort this lot out. Sort the um, front gears and whatnot out. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Right. I'm going to call it quits then. What's the time? Maybe 10 o'clock. Yeah, I'll get a photo of that tape deck done and get that up on eBay. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for watching and, uh... I'll, um... I was just checking the time on the camera. I'll, uh... I'll talk to you at some point tomorrow. Well, I think tomorrow's task is to get this one done as best I can. I'll have a look and see if I have got a rear cable, but well, I've got brake uh, brake cables, gear cables, but I'm pretty certain I haven't got one long enough for this bike. But I will message him before I do anything else and just let him know and see what he wants to do. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.